Hi, welcome to the Film Guardian, and where today we're going to come up with ideas how to make a movie. So, yeah, let's run. So, guys, how do we come up with an idea for a movie? Like, how many times do you like, have you seen a movie? Do I want to make something like that? And in my case, I want to make a movie, which I am working on at the moment. So yeah, if you want to link to my film, the film channel which I'm working on, um, I'll put link in the description. Also subscribe, which is um, yeah, somewhere on the screen. Also put the notification bell to get some more Guardian tips. Okay, yeah. And also hit the like button so we can make more of this, and share the video with your friends. So, see more. So, how do you come up with ideas for movies? Have you seen a movie? And like, right after, or like, I'd like to make a movie like that. Well, after George Lucas's first Star Wars film, yeah, in 1977, that's pretty crazy. It quite, it influenced quite a few directors from Kevin Smith, to a very budget director, Scooter McRae. So, yeah, if you have any influence on movies or, or influence on any famous directors or style or TV, there. Yeah, so, to um, Kevin Smith, Spoof Star Wars, and Jay and Oh no, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Obviously, that's a spoof on Empire Strike Back. But also, um, Zack and Neely. No, and all, while Lucas's film was huge influence on Kevin Smith, who is actually directed on The Flash TV show, if I'm correct. I mean, he does pretty good episodes. Many I've seen them. Like, also, Scooter McGurry, he's a very budget film director I've never heard of before. Really, I haven't. Veered off into a complete different direction with horror movies. Like, Shatter Dead and Sixteen Tongue. Interesting. Also, books. Have you ever read a book that you want to make into, like, a screenplay? Well, I want to make an amazing one. The idea is already there. Like, I'll just get something from my top shelf up here because I'm working my study desk. It's the um, Fantastic Beasts around to find them, a screenplay. Like, this, so, the Fantastic Beasts movie, which has the sequel, um, Crimes of Grindelwald this year, if I remember, um, is actually based off a textbook of, in, that J.K. Rowan kind of wrote, if I'm correct. No. Yeah, it was in the Harry Potter universe. But the character idea, what would the movie be about? A man who just looks and just is this detail. This is a, um, hippogriff. This is a nifra, or... Yeah, but they have to put an idea. But if they go back to that, they have to tell a story. And, but with the second one, they included Dumbledore. I really think, good. But also, well... The Talented Mr. Ripley by Patrick Pegsmith was made into the movie twice. But, if I'm correct, first as Purple Moon and then as the 1998 movie star Matt Damon. There also body switches, and there's like, but like, now there's like Harry Potter, there's Frankenstein, Sherlock Holmes, which are Marvel and DC are both, but they're comics, I don't know. But real life, have you or you anyone you know ever had an interesting series that you thought that would make a basis for a great movie? Well, technically I have a good one, which I'm not, which I'm not gonna say because it's very embarrassing. I said I don't want anyone to be looking for it. But also, like, is there anything new in life? What difficulties or struggles you can have with? Like any 
make people understand what happened to you in the past. So also, there's two things, high concept and there's also low concept. High concept moves can be described in one sentence and usually has simple characters and predictable solutions. Because like, um, let's say, I'm going to say Force Awakens. Force Awakens is basically a high concept movie where they basically copied the New Hope. Wait, wait, wait. they used to do that. And then, whilst Jedi on the hand, which is, I don't know, I'm going to be, I'm going to be this way for this, but I actually did write the movie a little bit. Some fans who, it's not a good movie, it's, okay, say it's better than prequels. Which is not like Empire. Like, but, things like Star Wars, there is the pitch, there's stars and there's wars. It's a, it's a space war, basically, so, yeah. Then there's also, I think, so also, rogue concept cannot be summed up in a sentence so easily. They're more complex and demand, like the last show. Or, M. Night Shyamalan, uh, ever say that? I can't really say his name. The man who made Unbreakable Split and all those other movies. Like, um, the besiege and uh, but I'm just looking down my notes because I don't really I'm not free for free falling. Right, but it doesn't ma- refer to the quality or the idea of that's the movie. It's just simply the way how certainly you describe the idea. If you make it so predictable. Let's say, man tries to get back in time. Okay, yeah. So, also, for projects for you guys at home, I'm just saying, sum words up. Like, how about this? Can you come up with ideas for movies that using a few words? How about Starbucks? Okay, yeah. That's very rude. Uh, how about dog, uh, yeah, dogs in space? This is all called Bark Wars. Dogs having a war. That's what we there. It's kind of free. Um, how about Runaway of Hulk? Really, that could be cool. That that was what basically. That was actually basically what Ragnarok was all about. A movie of the Hulk before, but but wait, that's fine. But also, write summaries to movies that are high concept. See if you can write a one line summary for each. For example, my super ex girlfriend. I haven't really watched these movies before, but meh. Yeah. A man breaks up with the secret identity of a superheroine. <laughs> and also, identify movies. See if you can identify these. Draw them by thing. If you can identify them, I'll give you a. I'll pin you. And I'll give you a heart. And plus, I might give you a share in the comments. Uh, if you can't figure it out, maybe think like right, this like project one. What can you sum this movie up? So how about this? Number one, Jaws in space. Number two, Romeo and Juliet on junk. Number three, giant eight kidnapped beautiful blonde. Blonde. Number four, high noon in space. Number five, immobile protagonist witness murder from his window. That's be weird. What would he come off me like that? I just come up with the title. I put the fifth one I might just say about. I don't know. Window murder. I don't know. But also, this is it for today's lesson, guys. But if you guys to the next time, to next time, just join the Guardians Army, and I'll see you guys later. So, yeah. And we'll be running it next time. So, bye.